Kickstarter being used for actual good small business reasons for real Kickstarter stuff? Yeah. Magic. The man, the myth, the made in USA legend himself. We have Luke in the flesh here at Rocky Mountain 2025. You got some stuff on display and- Yes, we do. We're bringing manufacturing prowess back to the Midwest. Talk to us, what's going on? Hey there. Right in front of us here is really our tube collection here. So this is what really started our full-time adventure into the company, launching the tube made in Wrightstown, Wisconsin. Farthest over there is actually something people bring up a lot of questions on is, why do you have a hot end that's been encased in plastic? Everyone has a cabinet of failure, and if you don't, you're just too new to the industry. Give it time. It, it, this is exactly it. So when we wanted to make a hot end, I don't want something that I just take off and, and throw away. I want right. something that I can try to save. I wanted something that I didn't buy expensive and then throw away when I'm done with it. So we have a cleaned up tube that was in the exact same situation, fully encased in plastic. All we did was throw it in the grill, let it cook off for a little bit, put in a new heater, and it's back in production. Don't do that on grills and ovens that you use for human food. I don't care if you do it, we don't recommend it. It's, it's do as we say, not as we do. It's an annealing and heat treating grill. Non-food preparation, mark it with a sticker. Anyways, Works safety. For me. Moving on, we have a takeoff tool head. SLM printed so aluminum. It's metal. Yeah, it's just metal. Because so of course it is. Metal is better. Yep. Um, I crave the certainty of steel. I'm well aware of this problem. <laughs> if you have a certain amount of mods, you don't lose a single millimeter of build volume while still using all 52 millimeters of melt zone. 52 freaking millimeters of melt zone? In a 60 millimeter overall length. And how many watts on heat? We typically recommend anywhere from 100 to 140 watts in that configuration. You that don't need them all so most of the time. so many watts. Yeah, but it's better to have more than less. What are you gonna drive down the freeway? Do you wanna drive a Prius or like a, a nice sports car? I, I drive a Golf R, so many horsepower, go fast. I, 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 I forget that you're a car guy. Yeah. Right next to it is a Calamity. So Calamity is another Voron intended tool head. This one is more intended for DIY fans out there. They're looking to like modify stuff okay. rather than have something that just works out of the box. So who's the friggin' Voron guys? Every single time it's the Voron guys. I've been part of the Voron community for like five years I now. I blew up like an that. octopus board on live stream. We have to give it the proper burial. <laughs> <laughs> Going down the line is a StableBot tool head that uses CPAP. It still uses a lot of stuff that you'll see on our table, which is LGX Pro. Yep, we like um, the Bond Tech guys. We really do. I Their shooters are the best on the market, I, I think. Like, we use them daily. I really like that I can just latch it open and close the latch. So I can just pull filament, put new stuff in, latch it together, two clicks, one click, whatever whatever clicks you need, um, and then hit the print button and, and walk away and I don't really worry about it. It was fun to see how all of that was made at Bond Tech. And we'll link to that video so you guys can go take a look. Yes. Can we get index tube? The technology probably isn't well suited to it. Not with that attitude. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that under advisement. That's how we get things done around here. For those who don't know, Luke is also in our Discord, but you can join the $10 tier and higher. That means you can annoy him like we do. Yeah, I, I, uh, I suffer from being baited into solving problems. We will get there after we fulfill the backers of our Pika Hot End. Speaking of this Pika Hot End, Dude. Kickstarter being used for actual good small business reasons for real Kickstarter <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Magic. It is magic, and we really appreciate the support already. Talk about this Pika Hot, it, it is amazing. We've actually had our bamboo, like I've said a couple times already, and in the Kickstarter, uh, since their original Kickstarter. One of the things that's pretty consistent about it is that it always likes to bend hot. Yeah, they, they, the speed can also be a detriment when it runs into things. If it runs into something and it loses the print, that's one thing, because you know right. accidents happen, you have to plan for accidents. But I really don't like it when I go and start the next print and I don't realize that my hot end's at a 30 degree angle from, from vertical. There's a several, many, alternate hot ends out there, but as we've we've rotated through quite a few of them and they all really don't meet the mark in, in our opinion. One of the two's main selling points is its durability and a lot of that comes from the titanium exoskeleton. Well, we can't exactly fit a standard size titanium tube inside the bamboo because of its unique constraints. What we can do is use laser cut titanium wings to join the hot end to the heat sink and allow that to support the heat break and to make sure that everything stays in line. Yeah, so when you run into things, it doesn't break. 
cheaty. It also has a couple other cool, really cool thermal advantages, but that, that's nerdy science and maybe we'll have a graphic for that someday. Well, that's nerdy science. And if you want us to get into the nerdy science, maybe, just maybe we can convince Luke to take a couple of hours on a Sunday and come hang out on the podcast. That is We have not discussed this until literally this moment. I'm okay with that. Sounds like a good time. He's down. So if you guys want to learn about the nitty freaking <laughs> gritty of what it takes to design something and fix problems that a company that is often marveled for their engineering couldn't fix themselves. What we've done, just like the tube, is package as much melt zone as possible. From nozzle to the end of the heat blocks, so we're not including the heat break area at all, we have 33 millimeters of melt zone. Inch and a half, basically. More or less. Yeah, that's a lot of melt zone. What's the stock bamboo? Do you know? I think it's like 23, something like that. It's on our Kickstarter, so we have so it lined like up. So you're like an extra 50% above stock. Correct. Wow. We've tested up to 50 millimeters cubic with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And it's a non-CHT, non-flow splitting geometry with that number. Wait, really? Yeah, it was a steel nozzle. What happens when you add a CHT geometry? We haven't even tested that part yet. <laughs> so the good news is, is that this is this sock is actually less efficient than the production one. Okay. Because the production one will be the fin style, so it'll be floating with a pocket of air and then the silicone boot. This silicone boot is just like the normal one. It's kind of half wrapped around right, it. Right, right. Like, so we have more watts available than normal, technically. So we have gigantic melt zone. Yep. We have strong as frig, so it won't break on you. Yep. And oh yeah, it's a replaceable nozzle on the fin standard that Slice Engineering kind of started. Yep. Because it's a smaller thread and makes it easier to machine in a small environment. It fits in the, the space that Bamboo's given us far better. Um, and the standard is supported by six manufacturers now. So it's Slice, Bontech, Microswiss, Diamondback, TechDia, and now Luke's Laboratory. That's pretty awesome. Guys, are you getting a Pico? We'd love to know in those comments down below. And what other machines should we harass Luke <laughs> to put a Pika on other than the plus four? Because the plus four is coming first because I can. God bless it, Jim. And that Kickstarter has successfully ended. And that means this man has a lot of work to do. If you want to get a Pika hot, and I'm sure there will be some sort of sign up link or something that Luke can get us by the time this video goes live that we'll link to in that description so you can get one at retail price, but hey, you're still supporting a small business, you're still supporting Made in America, and you're still supporting one man's dreams to say, well, why not? It's a dangerous question. Thank you for the successful Kickstarter, and we really appreciate it. And I am so excited to show you what we deliver and what we come up with next. It is really cool to see the Pika in person. Really what Bamboo should have done in the first place. Leave it up to the makers that actually know what they're doing to be able to do it. And leave it up to small business to pick up where big business tends to fail. And oh yeah, they also make custom printers. Did you know they make custom printers? Yeah, small ones, you know, only this big. But if you are a business looking for business class machines, yep. contact Luke's lab. It's absolutely worth it. As an engineer, the thing that I love is solving problems. But when I work for other people, I was always solving other people's problems. And sometimes that's really exciting. Some things are exciting when you don't think they're interesting. All of a sudden, like, wow. Like, I, I didn't realize that this could be so complex and so nuanced. Sometimes when I'm, I'm sitting in, and just working day in, day out, and my team is working, my wife is working, man, I, I really hope that this matters. And then I come here and it matters. It matters. It, it does a lot. You've obviously worked with Joel on the Blue Storm Terra and making the Elegoo Orange Storm Giga reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, seriously, check out Luke's lab. Support small businesses that help your small businesses be successful by making small businesses. We could not be happier to be able to meet you in person. It's always good. And if you guys want to see us go out to Luke's facility, let us know in those comments. And what hot end would you like to see next? for the Pika standard. It appears the H2D might be something that people want. I don't know, love to know from you all. Luke, this has been tremendous to see your entire kind of progress of where you've been and where you're going and what the future of your company looks like. It's exciting. We are incredibly excited to see the future. And if you are too, make sure to leave a like and get subscribed. And if you do want to support the efforts that we do, you can join at the $5 tier and how to get your names listed right next to Luke and I at the $10 tier and how you can come into our Discord and harass the both of us because uh -oh. he's in there. Because he's one of the Patreon supporters. So you can come and harass us. That's all we have for you all today. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Yeah. Have a good one. A lot of the stuff in front of us here, I'll, I'll pick it up and kind of talk around here. Well, so what we can do 
You can leave it, we can talk about it, and then I'll ah, B-roll it afterwards. Okay, okay, okay. And then okay, that okay, way okay. the white doesn't get pissed that you made it ugly again. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't care. Please forgive me, white. Or white balance? I said wife. Wife. Oh. No, no, she wouldn't be upset at me. She, this is, this is her life. Yeah, what, fixing your problems? She married this. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She chose this. Yeah. All right. 